Alright, I'm going to be reviewing another new release called I Spit on Your Grave, Deja Vu, which came out um, sometime in late April, uh, probably April 20, I think it was April 23rd maybe. Now, I did. I thought that I reviewed the original movie, the first movie, I Spit on Your Grave, on this my channel, but I didn't. I've reviewed, I was reviewing videos on Facebook for a while, and I never transferred that video over on to here. So, I will review the movie, I just gotta find it. But, um, anyways. Now, I heard about this movie, it's a direct sequel to the original 1978 movie called I Spit on Your Grave, which was directed by Mir Zarki. And he also directed this one. I didn't hear about this movie until like the end of March or the beginning of April. When a uh, news, uh, one of the horror websites posted an article about it. And I was like, hmm. At first when I saw it, I thought that it was going to be a sequel to one of the, to the remake franchise. Because they, there's already like two sequels to that. Um, and I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'd be interested in seeing, I mean, I'll watch it, because I've seen all of them, and, but, then I found out it's a, a direct sequel to the 1978 movie, and I was like, oh, I, I want to see that, you know, because, you know, I think that Zarky did kind of tease that he wanted to make a sequel on the commentary for I Spit on Your Grave, but, yeah. So, like I said, I really didn't hear much about it until, like, the end of March or the beginning of April from the, a horror website article. But, I, I had trouble finding it when it was released because it didn't drop on VOD yet. And I was like, I didn't want to wait anymore, so I was like, I'll go ahead and buy it. And, yeah, this movie was not good, in my opinion. Um. I'm not, I like the original I Spit on Your Grave. It's actually one of the movies besides Last House on the Left that really got me interested in exploitation films and extreme cinema. And, do you know, um, a lot of people know that the, I, the original I Spit on Your Grave is an infamous rape revenge exploitation film that has been banned in several countries, it's been ripped apart by critics because of its, I guess, it, I think it was like 40 minute rape scene, it, or maybe it wasn't that long, but it was a pretty long rape scene, and, and then afterwards when Jennifer gets her revenge on the guys, it's very bloody and kind of sex sensualized and stuff. So it's a, the original movie is very controversial, and I really don't see why it needed a sequel. It's just fine as it, for what it was. Now, this movie follows. Gen it's forty years later, kind of like what Halloween did, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Leprechaun, and. Other franchise horror franchise has been doing recently, and it's about Camille Keaton or Jennifer Hills, who's played by Camille Keaton. Uh, she's written a book about what happened to her when by the men that raped her and that she tortured and killed, and it causes a lot of problems because there are family members still alive from the men that she killed. And like, because there's like a radio news segment about when they're talking to her, and she's talking about, they're asking her like, well, you killed these men, but how you killed them, it was very sexual. Well, some of them, how she killed, like, Matthew and, and Johnny in the original was very sexual, how she killed before she, was very sexual before she killed them. And she explained it, and it sets off, I'm, I'm kind of, kind I'm trying, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm trying to give the plot as good as I can. But Johnny's wife hears this, and it kind of pisses her off, and she rallies a group of people to 
go and capture Jennifer and kill her because she believes that Jennifer is just a sadistic sexual psychopath kind of thing. And then when uh then you get introduced to Jennifer's daughter. I forgot her name. I was that's bad. Uh, <laughs> I watched this not that long. Oh, Christy, who's played by Jamie Bernadette, which I don't really I don't know what she's been in. Um she she's a model and or she's a successful model but she wants to quit cuz she don't like it anymore and you know she's kind of anorexic because you know if you're a model you got to keep a certain weight and stuff but her and her mom are walking out this restaurant and they're beaten and kidnapped by these two guys and they drive them all the way to the town from the original movie and everything plays out from there and I guess that's the basic plot of this. I'm not, I don't want to spoil this movie, but I guess I'm going to have to spoil some things. But the first half is really is kind of like a revenge thing from the perpetrate the perpetrators from the original movie. Their families is kind of like a revenge thing against Jennifer and her daughter, and that's what the first half of the movie is. And when a significant thing happens uh, a major character dies i'm not going to say who um it, the plot the the second half of the movie turns around and becomes kind of a remake of the original movie and yeah um i want to say this the acting is really bad in this the only characters i could stand were were camille keaton and Jamie Bernadette, who plays uh, Jennifer's daughter, and those those are the only two I could stand in this movie. Everyone else was a, really annoying to me. Um, and plus, this movie is two and a half hours, so it kind of dragged, and it made it really an, and kind of it made the performances, the annoying ass characters, even more great into watch it was so hard for me to sit through this movie just it's not because of the runtime because i can watch long movies but it, i mean it was kind of unnecessary because this is a sequel to a rape revenge movie and this is what this movie turns out to be but it was just hard to watch because the acting was so bad and annoying to me uh i mean it's a lower budget movie so I wasn't expecting much. I mean, the there's a little bit of creative kills and gore in it, but that's it. Uh, that the uh filmmaking's all right, and I think some of the things they should have cut down, like people walking through the woods or having these long ass conversations, they could have cut it down a bit. But that wasn't really the problem for me. Well, that, that the pacing was a little bit, but the acting I could not I could not stand it. Um, and then there's some things too, like the the timeline gaps don't make sense. Like there's certain characters that should be older, like Johnny's wife and uh, Matthew's dad, and uh. I don't know about uh, Andy and Stanley. Uh, I guess one was a nephew, one's a cousin. Maybe they're like about the right age. But and then I guess the daughter, Jennifer Hill's daughter, she be she should be about like forty or something. I mean, she didn't look she didn't look that young to me. Like she, I know she's in her early thirties, but I mean, she didn't she didn't bother me. I thought she was per she looked fine for the role age wise but at, at, like the older characters at least like Johnny because later on Matthew's grandparents or Johnny's grand or Johnny's parents come in and they don't look that old <laughs> and then I guess it was Matthew's grand grandma she should be dead and she's in this I mean yeah it has some like timeline issues like um Texas Chainsaw 3D did
but I heard that this movie was filmed in like 2014 or 2015, so that's probably a big reason why. But still, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. I I should have mentioned this too. There's another pivotal scene in this movie, and if you're if you've seen the original, there's a rape scene in this movie. It's not as graphic and brutal as it was in the original, and it's kind of shortened, but because the acting was so bad, and I don't know if it's it intentionally they're trying to make it funny or if it's intentionally funny, but it was really uncomfortable to watch because it was like very it was very like came off very comedic and I don't know. It kinda of reminded me of like the rape scenes in Mother's Day, the trauma movie, and I didn't like that movie because of that. I mean I don't care if you like it, it doesn't bother me but like when i watch a rape scene in a movie i want it to be serious and not be uh come off as comedic um yeah i mean like i said if you're a fan of the original movie i guess give this one a shot i mean i know there's some people that like it and it's very divided down, like, who likes it and who doesn't. I, well, I didn't really enjoy it at all. But if you like the first movie, I would say check this out if you want. I mean, you might like it. I mean, everyone has a different sense of humor to them and this and it's like, cause there's a lot of dark humor in this. So, sorry, I would, I would highly recommend it. But if, you know, if you're not really a fan of the original movie, and if you're more of a fan of, like, the remakes franchise, then I wouldn't recommend this movie. Um, but anyways, that's my review. So, I'm sorry if it's not that good. <laughs>